perfect. Welcome back to Life of Birch. I'm Birch and it is finally time to replace these rinky dink stock brake lever and shift lever on my Rebel 1100 for the Burley brand MX style levers. I'm still not sure whether to call them pedals or levers, but you get it. The things that you use with your feet to make the bike stop and shift. Now I say it's finally time to do this because you might know I've had these for about six months and I'm just now getting around to doing it. It was too cold, then I was too busy, then I didn't have the right tool, then I forgot about it, blah, blah, blah. It's finally time. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe if this is your first time here because you're obviously interested in the Honda Rebel and I have tons of content with my Rebel 1100, my girlfriend's Rebel 3, and we just bought a Rebel 500 that's wrecked and I'm doing a rebuild series on it. All right, let's check these things out. Quick note before we open these up, like I said, these are actually the MX style levers that will match my MX style foot pegs. Burley brand does have a few different styles though and this install process will be the same for all of them. All right, I don't know which box is on top, but we gonna find out. All right, it looks like this is the brake pedal, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, this is the brake pedal. So you'll be able to tell because once you compare it, you'll see that this one's way smaller than the shift lever. So you can see already, hopefully, that it is like way burlier construction. I didn't even mean to use that word, but burly is a good example. It's definitely thicker than the stock unit you have there. It looks like it'll be a lot harder to brake. So if you're doing gnarly stuff with your bike, you're definitely gonna want this. And even if you're not, it just looks freaking rad. I mean, look at how that matches. It looks so freaking good. Now this is designed as a direct replacement, obviously. So you have the little holes right Right here where the hooks for the springs will go and then right down here is where the little part for your master cylinder attaches but you'll see that once we install it now one of the things that i love the most is all the adjustability that they offer so just like the mx style foot pegs where you can adjust the angle of them the same thing is true with these so if you don't like the way that your foot sits on this it's just a little allen key right there you can adjust the angle until it feels comfortable for you i also really like the fact i didn't notice when i ordered them that the top obviously has like the bear trap kind of look the same way that these do but then on the bottom it has a nice little like rubber pad or whatever so it doesn't scuff your shoes nice little touch there all right, so set that aside. And then obviously we have the shift lever, shift pedal, whatever you wanna call it. Now this is what I was saying about the fact that if you sit them next to each other, if you had no idea what you were looking at, you'd be able to, dude, come on. You'd be able to tell just based off of how much freaking bigger this is. And if you can't tell, let me put them next to each other real quick. See what I mean? So same super thick, durable construction, really high quality finish on these. And uh, same thing on this side where it has a little Allen key adjustment if you wanna change the angle of it. So just what we've come to expect out of Burley brand, super Super high quality parts. Can't wait to get these on. Let's uh, let's get that started. All right, we're gonna start with the brake side for two reasons. First one being we're already over here, so why not? Second one being the fact that obviously this bike comes in DCT. So whether you have a DCT or a manual, you're gonna wanna swap out the brake pedal either way. The only people who need to worry about the shifter side is obviously the people who have the manual. First step, take an eight millimeter Allen key and you're gonna remove these two bolts to get this whole assembly off. Sheesh. Oh, I guess I'll keep my knee underneath there in case it just like drops once the bolts are out, which is pretty likely. Oh yeah, that's for show dropping. All right, how do we want to let this hang so that it doesn't scratch anything while we do this? That should be good. Just be careful of all the electrical connections and the brake lines. Now with that hanging free, you can see you have a spring here and a spring here that you'll need to take off of the stock foot peg. I have these little like hook things. I forget what I got them for or where I got them, but I figure probably one of them will be good for just hooking in there and pulling out, so we'll take both of those off. Actually, I lied. Let's take it off of the master cylinder first so it can rotate better to get these springs off. I think that's the better idea. Just has a little cotter pin there that you gotta flatten out and pull out. Oh, all right, got the cotter pin out. I'm already bleeding just from the first cotter pin, so it's a good sign. Does that thing just get banged out? Yeah, okay. So just bang and wiggle, and then that jump pops out. All right, so the lever itself is held on by a snap ring, so you gotta get these circlip pliers, I think they're called. This is what I didn't have that I kept forgetting to buy, making it impossible to do this. These I just got off Amazon for like 12 bucks, and they actually have interchangeable heads that you can use, so I'll link those in the description. You just wanna put those in the holes of the snap ring, squeeze it so that it spreads, and then it comes right off. And then it just slides right off. It's only held on by the springs now, so it should be easier to get out of the springs. Why did I think these springs would be the easiest part and they're like putting up a fight? You got this washer, so you don't want that to fall away. So what we'll do is we'll push down on the spring so it's at the right angle, hook this guy in, pull it up. Yeah, you dirty And then this one should be easy. Am I just extra derpy today or am I not getting this? Huh, there we go. I don't know if that's the way they wanted it to come off. All right, so now we just got to reverse that process to put the new one on. All right, so we'll put both springs on the new pedal. Then we'll attach the bottom one. There we go. Then we'll attach this one. 
There we go, and now the bottom one came off. I love how the easiest part of the instructions say just like, take the spring off. And that's what's given us the biggest headache so far. All right, so we'll pull it from the back side. There we go, that sounded like a spring setting. All right, so then, oh, that bent the fingernail back, but we got it set on there, and we're gonna hold it on with the washer, and then we're gonna put that snap ring right back over to hold that washer in place as the washer falls. Boom! Now just attach it back to the master cylinder. Slide that through there. Take the cotter pin and slide it right through there and then bend it back into place to secure it. All right, it seems like we're done. Let's mount it back up with the eight millimeter bolts and then see if everything works the way that it's meant to. God, that looks good, dude, are you kidding me? And there she is looking sexy as hell. Everything's on there nice and tight and it seems to be working just fine. I said that they're adjustable, but it looks like it's at the perfect angle. Like it's literally perfectly in line with my foot peg it looks like. But as I ride it, I'll kind of test that out. And like I said, if I need to adjust it, there's just the Allen key right there. Adjust it however you want, but that is looking so freaking good. Why did I wait this long to do it? That was so easy. All right, now one thing I wanna do before we move on to the other side is check out whether or not the brake lights work, just to make sure, because this little thing right here triggers the brake lights to come on and off, so I wanna make sure that they actually work and that everything's in the same position it used to be. And yeah, they come on like normal. Dude, this feels so good. Literally at the perfect angle already and so much grippier than the stock one. Damn, this is sick. Yeah, because it's like flat. So your foot actually like sticks to it as opposed to like rolling off the stock round one. And just for comparison's sake again, when I was saying like, oh, it's so flat, it has so much surface area and it grips and you don't roll off like the stock round one. This is what I mean. Look at the size of what we had from Honda versus the Burley brand one. I mean, it could literally just fit inside of it. <laughs> like that's just so much more surface area, so much more grip. This thing is sick. If you've watched this far, I'm assuming it means that you have a manual version or you like me a lot because we are on to the shifter side. So first things first, once again, eight millimeter Allen key to remove these two bolts to take this whole assembly off. Oh, all right, we got that side off. And since it dropped down like that, let's take this little shipping stuff and lay it right there so it doesn't get scratched if it ends up dropping down. You know what I mean? All right, then on the back side here to get this whole lever off, there's gonna be a six millimeter Allen key right here that you gotta undo. Easier said than done. Oh, all right, there we go. All right, so once you do that, this whole thing pops off and we'll set it to the side. This washer fell off, so we'll definitely need that. And then to get it off, what is this? 10 millimeter, guessed perfectly. Ooh, loosen that, and then I believe, what's the easiest way to do this? Long story short, after some trial and error, the easiest way that I found to thread that gear shift pedal off of that rod was to stand the bike up and get the kickstand out of the way so I had enough room to thread it off. There might have been an easier way, but I sure didn't find it. <laughs> There we go. All right, so then we wanna pop out the stock thing all nice and grazed up. And it says something about two seals. So I'm gonna use one of these little pick things again. And it looks like there's a seal on the inside of it. This one's facing the outside of it. So then we'll take the new jump. This was the one from the outside and we'll put it into the Burley brand arm. This was the one from the inside and we'll put it in the Burley brand arm. Got grease everywhere. So then we'll stick that back on through. I'm sure some people will say to re-grease it, but it wasn't like packed with grease or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't need to be repacked. I'm just gonna spin it, get the lubrication working through there. You know what I mean? Oh, see, I really like the design of the Burley brand one because we can just pop that off to screw it on. We don't have to do all that freaking malarkey of like leaning the bike up. Is it a 10 mil? two no they could have gotten points for using the same size wait no i'm an idiot it is a 10 millimeter what did i have oh i picked up my eight where did i put the 10 dude i really am losing it today aren't i oh the 10's right here okay <laughs> so burly brand does get bonus points because this is the same size as this so we're just gonna go ahead and pop this jump right off uh -huh, oh, but you do need an eight for the inside to keep it from spinning see i'm prepared and i didn't even know it so now we can just take this and thread it onto there and you can see where like it goes from like a gray to a darker color. That's where the original one was threaded up to. So we'll thread it to the same point and then check to see if that looks good. Bring that nut back down and then you just wanna check to see if there's even spacing up there and down there and there appears to be. And then this is also what you use if and when you ever need to adjust the height of your uh, shifter once it's installed. We'll go ahead, put that through, thread this stuff back on and tighten it down. 
Then we're gonna take this washer that was already on there, slide that back over, and then reattach that with our six millimeter Allen key to the foot peg bracket. Then we're just gonna re mount it using the eight millimeter jumps right here give that a good four or five ugga -duggas. and then we're gonna sit on the bike and make sure actually you know what i didn't even tighten that down i am terrible today gotta tighten this little adjuster nut down probably would have been better to do it before but that's all right and now let's sit on it and make sure that it's shifting properly we're in first right yep let's see up to neutral up to second Oh, yes, yeah, shifting great. All of this MX style stuff from Burley Brand locks into the waffle soles of my vans so freaking well. I know I need to get like actual riding shoes, but if you're riding in vans, it works great. And you know what? The extra surface area of this one is great too, because I feel like the extra surface area of the pegs lets you hang your foot over further. And then the extra surface area of the shifter thing means that when your foot is hanging further over, it's closer to swoop it over and shift. Yeah, these things are freaking sick. All right, so here is the finished product on that side and then just kind of like an overall view of the finished product those things look so awesome with just kind of like the dirt bike style bear trap style you can just tell they're so much higher quality than the stock one has the adjustability has all that extra grip all the extra surface area i'm freaking stoked on these and i'm bummed that it took me so long to do it thanks for watching guys make sure to deck out your rebel 1100 with burley brand parts at burleybrand.com like comment subscribe that was a weird three. Thank you so much to all the Patreon members. I honestly could not be full-time on YouTube without you guys. Leave any comments you have below, and we'll catch you on the next one. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, so basic. Hope you play this. Damn, I prayed it. Nice song, yeah. I be Candace. Oh, so's fake it. Pay those hey, placements. Hey, Fuck shit. Hey. And I'm still waiting on the brighter day. It's been a minute, been rough many times more. And I'm kicking rocks to a sky of gray. Praying hard, talk to me before I'm done for.